Independence Day. Post election day. My candidate won. Trump is in office from 2024 through 2020. One of 2025 through 2029. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me, for us, for the USA. I have uh, something that I ran across uh, today. This is part two of my Did You Know. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Proverbs 12, 17 through 20. Almost true is still false. Cinematography, well done. Soundtrack, reflective and calming. Content, intriguing and relatable. The video presented a study in which redwood trees were injected with a substance similar to adrenaline to keep them from going dormant. The injected trees died because they weren't allowed the natural cycle of wintering. The video's message was that this can happen to us as well if we're always busy with no seasons of rest. And that can be true. But the video was inaccurate. There never was such a study. Redwoods are evergreens and never go dormant. And the trees in the video were sequoias, not redwoods, not coastal redwoods. As a thoughtful, as thoughtful as the video seemed to be, it was based on falsehoods. We find ourselves living in an age where due to technologies, lies are magnified and multiplied to the limits of convincing us they're true. The book of Proverbs, that compendium of godly wisdom, speaks often of the stark difference between truth and lies. Truthful lips endure forever, says the proverb, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. And the very next adage tells us deceit in the hearts of those who plot evil, but those who promote peace have joy. Honestly, honesty applies to everything from God's commands to videos about wearing. Honesty applies to everything from God's commands to videos about wearing. The truth endures forever. How might wisely, how might you wisely question the narrative of what you see, hear, and experience? How will you live out your commitment to the truth? Then it's a prayer. Dear God, please give me discernment as I daily pursue what's true. Again, this was my uh in my um our daily bread for november 6 wednesday november 6 so once again as my other videos predicted trump is the man with the plan and he has won He's been put down and, and tied up in, in, in legal situations, lied on, and time and time again, he went through the battles and came out on top. He's strong. He'll be a good leader like he was before when he was in office. So 
And like I say, I'm not a Trump fan. I just started, I just got on the Trump bandwagon because I was not feeling Kamala at all. And I just couldn't make myself just keep blindly voting for Democrats just because that was the way my family had been doing it for years. I'm a generational curse breaker. So maybe that got into my mind. Okay, it's time for you to do something different, Ree. Do something different. Break the mold. And in spite of my family not voting for Trump, I did. Am I going to rub it in their face? No. No. I woke up this morning and I went to the bathroom and I saw on my phone that Trump had won. I'm good. The world is safe. Because I don't believe that Kamala could do the job that uh, Trump can do. Certain positions require a certain type of personality. And her personality was just not strong enough to get us the respect that we need. We were the laughing stock of on the map. (laughs) No. And like Trump said, he's going to start using tariffs on on other countries who want to bring their furniture and their products over here and selling the USA. No, no. Okay, if you want to do that, fine. But you're going to have to pay this amount and get our economy back up. He's going to drill, baby, drill and make us uh, energy efficient. So our gas bills will go down, our electricity, our uh, water bills. Fuel for our vehicles will go down because we'll be self-sufficient and won't have to rely on other countries for their oil. So I am ecstatic that my choice won. Thanks be to God. I can't wait till January when he takes office. God put a hedge of protection over Trump. He's made it through two um, attempts to take him out already. Put a hedge of protection over him so that he won't be killed. Because we need him more now than any time. And since he's made it this far, keep him here. Keep him here. Yeah. But, uh, no, that's all. I just wanted, that's my humble brag. And so that I'm justified in the videos that I was posting because I've gotten I was trying to share my post with some others who told me uh, they don't like talking about politics. And I'm like, okay, I respect that. Uh, Forgive me for uh, sending you that because I um, I was just sharing it with everybody on my uh, social media channels. And I've had a couple of people reach out to me and tell me that they didn't like talking politics. So I was like, okay, forgive me. But now you see why I posted the videos that I posted. I believe that Trump is God's trumpet. He's sounding the alarm and trying to get America back on track because we've gone to hell in a handbasket. Things are out of control. It's chaos everywhere. He's going to clean up the mess that the Dems demons have made and I can't wait victory is mine victory is mine victory today is mine I told Satan get thee behind victory today is mine peace
peace is mine, peace is mine, peace today is mine. I don't say get me behind, peace today is mine. Joy is mine, joy is mine, joy today is mine. I told Satan, get me behind, joy today is mine. I am happy, so very happy. Thank you guys for tuning in. May you stay blessed. May you and yours stay blessed. Please subscribe, like, and share with someone else who could stand to be edutained. Thank you and God bless. Bye.